Hey guys, you're Marta Giga. In this video, I have a very cool look at a awesome looking lock screen for Android devices called the Fumbler. I've been using this for the last couple days already, and it's very cool because it puts a bunch of widgets in your lock screen in the form of circles and it looks very very cool and there's a lot of useful information here as well and i'm going to show you guys how it works so you guys can download it and it causes totally free uh first of all let's show you guys some of the widgets that you get here here starting with this one you got the weather that you see there you could touch on each date here and you can see over here it changes as well you can swipe to the side and it disappears but it stays there but it disappears um here you got the calendar you go ahead here switch through months as well that looks very awesome you can click right here and you can add an event it'll take you to your normal calendar uh let's go back again over here um one thing that i like about this um um lock screen is that it also changes the background as well like you see there the background change that's also very cool uh this other widget is usage statistics uh lock screen unlocks per day it'll show you the unlocks per day there uh, notification received by day it will show you right there that's very cool as well it has this right here which is awesome as well is a good uh widget to create list and the great thing is that you have it in your lock screen so you can you have fast access to it like you see here i, I put button buy stuff uh fear success excel and all that and the games this one right here i just bought it so i mark it and that's it and you could go ahead here and add another list if you want that's very cool as well um here you got notifications if you want to turn notifications on or off you just tap on one of them um here you got the clock like you see there you got the clock and you can add an alarm that's an alarm and you can add another alarm if you click right there as well uh let's see what else we have here here is messages it's very cool as well i like the fact that it shows um all the people that have been messaging me right here on the top like you see i could tap on either one of them like you see there and i can see all their messages email as well i just go up and down look at that that's very awesome as well that's very cool another thing that i like as well is that for example if i'm listening to a podcast no right? you have the platform whether it be and let's say let me see if um if it, if it shows you the the widget no i have to leave the widget turning on I'm go ahead and put down the volume that way we don't violate any copyright Print, audio volume down that's the podcast for first take and i listen to it a lot and let's say you're listening to a podcast uh this is what i like as well it has another widget for media like you see there you see the play button and you see some information here about the podcast you're listening to which is awesome and you got the pause button if you pause it it pauses and you put it again play and it plays again that is so cool I like that feature a lot and I also like another feature that shows you like news but right now the uh, the widgets that you get on the screen will randomly change um, and right now you I don't see the news widget but there's another news widget where you could tap on it and it'll open the news and you can go through the news it looks very cool as well here you got notifications as well you could swipe away some of them sometimes same th same effects you get on the widgets on your notification that's you're gonna get it right there as well and these apps right here are randomly uh put there based on your usage if you've been using this one a lot you're gonna get this app there appearing a lot on the lock screen that's very cool um so, uh if you want for example on a specific app to stay there you could tap and hold tap and hold let's see how long there you go tap and hold and let's say i want i want uh, da, da, da. let's go and just pick one let's go and just pick one cbs let's go i want to put cbs there that app is going to stay there so every time i open the I'll, I'll turn on the lock screen it's always going to be there so that's another cool feature as well here are settings uh there's a lot of things you could do like uh, put um password no no password uh, ma uh manage security uh number of widgets you could change this to six to nine uh by default is set to ten 
by default but i like the widgets so i put it up to 10 up to 12 or to the maximum um here you got layouts you can actually auto assign layouts that really doesn't work for me i've been trying i don't know how how you put the layouts but i like the way it looks so i don't care for changing it um here you got enable widgets so if you there's a widget that you don't want to see appearing there you can go ahead and uncheck it it will not appear there if you don't want to see it um here you got notification bar if you don't want to see the notification bar up there just turn it off and it'll disappear and you can see the effects well, as you click click on it it will it will completely disappear right there background you got nature stream which is awesome because it switches between uh wallpapers so every time you open and close the the, the lock screen uh the fumbler is like an a wallpapers from the fumbler and choose your wallpaper you could choose from your wallpaper there if you want uh, but I really like uh, nature stream. It looks very cool. Uh, you got color adapt uh, theme. You got the fumbler. You got adaptive. You got multicolor. And you can see over here, there's like a preview window where it actually changes. Whoop, you could put uh, your own. Like you see it here. You can actually see it change. So I just put adaptive. Um, here you got flat or transparent. By default, it's set to flat. You can put in transparent. It also looks very cool as well. Um, right now, I put in transparent so you guys can see the difference. Uh, color, icons. You can see it here, monochrome. And lock uh, screen enabled. We sign uh, Celsius. If you want to switch it to Celsius, you can do that. And that's it. Look at that. So look how cool that looks very cool and, and you see there the, the uh, widgets they randomize around they move around it looks very cool uh what you see there uh like you see the the widgets look a little bit more transparent here these right here and these two right here that look transparent and here when you tap right there it takes you to the camera and it takes you to the camera very very fast and that's it if you want to unlock you go like that Close it again. And I can see there every time you open and close the, the the lock screen, it will change the background and the apps as well. Like you see there, the background of the apps also changes as well. So that's very cool. The app is totally free to try. So I don't know why wouldn't you try it? Of course, if you have your own lock screen, it's gonna take you through the process. That way you can um, uh, disable the other one and activate this one. Um, I've been liking it and I've been using it since the day it came out, uh, since the day I discovered it, I've been loving it. It looks very cool. I like the fact that you get a lot of information on your lock screen and everything is very interactive. Like you see there, I like the way everything works. I like the way you touch everything and it just works. Uh, there's another widget, which is not appearing here because like I said, everything that you get here is random. You get some random information and there's another widget where you see the news and I'm not seeing it right now, which I wanted to show you guys. Let's see if I close it again. Uh, right now I'm using the Google now launcher which is an ama amazing launcher they've been bringing a lot of great changes so i've been using that and this combination and combined with the lock screen i think is a, a great match so let's go ahead and close it here see if it, I, we can see that lock widget and uh, no <laughs> we cannot see the widget let's see there the background change again but that's it, guys. I'm going to leave a link in my description. That way you can go ahead and try it out. It's the Fumbler, um, and it's a very cool-looking lock screen. Uh, I like the way you can, um, if you want to keep one of these apps permanently there, you can do that by tapping and holding. Uh, some of these widgets, you tap and hold there, you, it'll show you the gestures you could do. Like you see there, and show you the gestures available for it. Uh, this right here, I really like the widget for the for the media. I really like the fact that I can uh, tap on the media buttons right there. Uh, you got the date right there. You got the the weather looks very cool at night. This turns on dark, and you can see some the moon and all that. If it's raining, you can see the like the raining effect, but like in in solid images it looks very cool so guys thanks for watching the video this was the fumbler lock screen for android devices go ahead and try it out thanks for watching the video guys till next time